Hello everyone. You're welcome to your number one prayer channel. Please sing and be blessed. Thank you. Father, don't kneel. You can stand. I will do the kneeling. I kneel and I bow before you by this apostolic and prophetic grace. Every force sitting on anyone's financial destiny right now in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead let that force be dislodged now be dislodged now be dislodged now master we have toiled all night let me speak to someone here let let the seasons of toiling walking like an elephant eating like an ant let it come to end in your life now let it come to end in your life now hear me everyone here who is in debt whether personal debt or business debt i prophesy by the god of heaven between now and the next three months by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic come out of that debt now come out of that debt now every business here that has refused to grow has refused to rise hear ye the word of the lord between now and the end of 2021 be 10 times better than you are hear me there are many of us here it's not like you are lacking food to eat but you keep recycling the same financial level recycling you can't break out of it some of you have been on building projects for close to 10 years to finish it and move your family is not there by the power of the prophetic i push you to the next level of your destiny i push you to the next level of your finances hear me i tell you fire is falling there are families here that love the lord with all their hearts but nobody has risen financially in that family for whatever reason if you belong to that family right now i'm speaking to you because the power of god is coming upon you i decree and declare anyone here who is part of any family where the circle is just poverty lack and hardship i declare may that cause be broken now may that cause be broken now every ministry here that is struggling financially following online you are a man of god your church your ministry is struggling financially up today and down tomorrow in the name of jesus christ come out of that shame and reproach now i want to pray for you 
the lord is ministering to me that there are people it's not like you are poor but all your resources are hanging everywhere you keep watching resources that are supposed to have come but it does not come wherever it is in the name of jesus i decree and declare i command those resources to come to you now come to you now come to you now hear me there are some of you you were part of the lifting of many people but they forgot you that is the reason why you are where you are it's not that you are lazy you've been part of many people's rising but now they've left you where you are in the name of jesus i pray the destiny helper assigned to wipe your tears hold your hands and lift you wherever they are this week i command them to appear before your destiny appear before your destiny all those trusting God for jobs trusting God to start businesses trusting God for any value adding structure in the name of Jesus I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead beginning from this week let there be testimonies and anyone sitting on your glory your financial glory I overturn I overturn I overturn I overturn I overturn I overturn until you sit on your rightful place hear me there are many of you as you go to sleep tonight God will open up to you visions and he will tell you what to do believe me as you go to bed God will show you what to do yeah. hear me there are some of you here because of the urgency of the situation in your life a fish does not carry coin but when there is need to pay tax God can make even a fish to bring coin I pray for you from the most unexpected means may the resources to take away shame from your life may it appear in the name of Jesus Now hear me I speak over every sacrifice many of you are making profound sacrifices only God knows what you are doing individuals businesses ministries couple children young old organizations but I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead the same way fire came upon the sacrifice of Elijah in the name of Jesus may fire rest on your sacrifice yes. hear me for some of you what you sowed is for the next level of your promotion yes. and I really mean what I'm saying for some of you what you sowed is for the next level of your political destiny yes. some of you what you sowed is for the next level of your destiny whatever has died in your hand hear the word of the lord let it come back to life now yeah. hear me if you have never experienced an individual calling you to say i want to help you i release that mantle on you now i release that mantle on you now i release that mantle on you now break it to cascada but i release that mantle on you now inside outside online receive that grace right now please hear me hear me i am not praying for you for someone to just come and help you once i'm praying for someone who will build a system around your life hallelujah please hear me 
if there is anyone who has victimized you financially either based on tribal sentiments based on religion based on political affiliation or whatever it is right now i lose those chains of you go forward 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 I want you to watch the marvelous testimonies of strange financial miracles you are going to be hearing in the name of Jesus Christ can I be honest with you for some of you you will be sitting in your home someone will bring the key to a house and say take I speak this by the unction of heaven for some of you will be sitting and someone will bring a car and say God instructed me to give you hear me for some of you someone will come and meet you and say God said I should raise your children till university now hear this the final prayer there is an anointing that comes upon a man that can attract opportunities that can attract people that can attract resources I taught you last week if you want to pick nails from the ground here you don't pick them one by one you pass a magnet around them and it will pick everything some of you that's what you are about to become right now <laughs> hear me some of you your helpers are already in koinonia they are in this place right now <laughs> now therefore as I have received from the fathers of faith this is a relay this grace was passed it is not something we invented as I have really as I've received from the fathers and by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic this grace that mysteriously attracts resources attracts men attracts opportunity in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God Koinonia, take that grace now. Let that grace come on your head now. Let that grace come on your business now. Take that grace now. Take that mantle now. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. And hear me any power that fights your prosperity from today in the name of Jesus that power goes down before your face and any man who says over his dead body for this prophetic word to come to pass may the ground open and swallow them may the ground open and swallow them every yoke every enchantment every activity of witchcraft negative patterns i break it now
like you to pray one prayer whilst you are seated father i am available available to be the esther of my generation available to be the gideon available to be the roof the naomi available to be the elijah Shadeka Salaka Brantaska Baraka Tebeleka Paraka Tosiata. Go ahead and pray. You're not wasting your time. This is a prophetic and an apostolic ministry. Seba Landa Kasalaka Baraka Tafraskati Krateke Perekusiata. Respond to the staring in the spirit. Respond to the staring in the spirit. please don't be distracted we are becoming a people spiritual a people yielded vessels that he can use mighty vessels that he can use take a few minutes i just sense a staring in the spirit don't waste it take a few minutes to pray in the spirit I da bala shabara da gavere ko sabres prata da gavere shabransa da melandosko baratus yata. We see the cloud. We see the cloud. We see the cloud. We see the cloud. A mighty formation in the spirit. This is Koinonia. Ale para sobre de beleco a sabraca de balatusia. The spirit man is getting enlarged. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare over you that every door that has been closed over your life and your destiny before now by the power that raised Jesus from the dead, may that door be open now. May that door be open now. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 8. I am he that was dead and now is alive. And I have the keys. In the name of Jesus by the mystery of the key of David. I declare that every door that has refused to open. I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic. I speak to that door. Ephata be opened now. Access to systems and structures. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says your gate shall be continually opened. It shall not be closed day or night to receive the forces of the Gentiles. I decree and declare whoever has ignored you before now, by this grace upon your life, find visibility. Find acceptance in the name of Jesus Christ. You hear me? By reason of this impartation, everything in your life connected to ancestry, 
connected to bloodlines, territories, all kinds of demonic things that came with background. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, it dies now. Please help them. For those of you who God is going to be sending in ministry, the fivefold ministry, in the name of Jesus, may you do ministry with power. You will never be frustrated in ministry. For those called in business, those called in politics, every area of assignment, I empower you to excel. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Let me speak to you. Whoever fights you from today goes down instantly. Let me say it again. Whoever fights you from today goes down instantly. Because of you, every other person connected to you who has not risen before now, I declare that as you rise, they rise. As you prosper, they prosper. As you increase, they increase. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a grace called the hear ye him anointing. It is the grace that can give a man visibility. Just because you are competent and knowledgeable does not mean your world will pay attention to you. There is a grace that compels systems and structures to pay attention. As God has freely granted that grace, may it rest upon you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. That grace for the supernatural. Manifold manifestations of the spirit. May you begin to see it in your life. And I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit that wants to cut short your life. To see that you do not fulfill the fullness of your days. By reason of this impartation, we shut the mouth of the grave. You are covered as you fly in the air. You are covered on land. You are covered by sea. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. By reason of this impartation, whatever is yours and has refused to come to you, wherever it is on this earth, by the power of the prophetic, I command it to find its way back to your destiny. Find its way back to your destiny. Find its way back to your destiny. If there is any one of you that has this statement that nobody has risen from your family, I decree and declare, you will not be the only one, you will be the first. And from you, that narrative will change in the name of Jesus Christ. Please hear me. If there is any one of you suffering from any terminal disease, whether it's a blood disease, whether it's any disease that comes with age, well, I don't care what it's called. In the name of Jesus Christ, once it is what Jesus did not plant in your body, let it leave that body now. Let, I, let it leave that body now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anytime you call one man, may a nation answer you. Hear me. As soon as any need arises, I compel men wherever they are, may they answer to your needs. You will never be without help. You will never be without support. Whether in ministry, whether in business, the God who has been Ebenezer here, in the name of Jesus, may he remain your anchor. And everyone and every institution and every nation that needs what you carry, in the name of Jesus Christ, we open them up to your gift. Let me say it again. Anyone and any nation 
that needs what you carry whether in ministry whether in business in governance career we open them up to your gift listen was it not peter who was sleeping and he had a vision and it was a macedonian call to go to a place where his grace was needed in the name of jesus those who need you in dreams and visions god will reveal you to them god will reveal you to them every battle you have fought before now and tried and tried your father fought it could not defeat the devil we stand by this rod of a higher priesthood that battle comes to a permanent end now and finally i pray for you every grace you have seen in this ministry every grace that god has so lavishly given in the name of jesus and from the depth of my heart i stand by the office of the apostolic and the prophetic may that grace begin to find expression in your life and eli elisha said when he took the mantle he said where is the lord god of elijah and he parted the jordan the bible said it split hither and tither i pray for you everywhere god has granted me victory when you get to that sea may it pass open for you <laughs> hear me by the privilege of god's grace there is no nation there is no city there is no territory that has rejected what god has put upon this life therefore i pray in the name of jesus christ no territory will reject the investment of god upon your life while i serve the purposes of god he has not allowed me to beg for bread i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ you will never be hungry serving the purposes of the kingdom god will raise kings to stand by you in the name of jesus christ hear me may the lord multiply you and may you not be few may the lord glorify you and may you not be small in the name of Jesus Christ. And finally, I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. At the end of your life, you will not become an unfortunate story for people to learn a lesson from. Let me repeat it again. That at the end of your life, it will never be said there once was this person there once was this businessman, this business lady. There once was this anointed man. During the days of, in the name of Jesus, may your relevance last throughout your lifetime and even beyond. Hear me? The spirits that cut short the relevance of men, in the name of Jesus, let it be far from your habitation. Any relationship, any association, any group that you are part of that is destructive to your destiny will break you free from such now. You will not suffer my foot to be moved. I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. Mortal man. You will not suffer my foot to be moved. I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. Mortal man, awesome God, mortal just a part, but you are the awesome God. You will not suffer my food to be good. I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. But you are the awesome God. You will not suffer my food to be good. Everywhere, who am I? Your mind is 
to adhere to the teachings and prayers and instructions of the man of God. And as you do that, may God bless you in Jesus' name. And please, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.